What's up everyone? I'm Jamie with 3littlegoats.com and welcome to my channel. I am finally back at making soap. I ran out of some of my soap supplies so I was waiting on a shipment of oils to come in which it finally did. Yay! And so this week I'm going to be doing a soap I'm calling Lost in the Woods. It's got kind of like a camouflage -y type look. I didn't want it to be too swirly. I wanted the colors to kind of stack on top of each other to make it look more camouflage -y, Like the old school BDU, not the like new school ACU and I can't even remember what they're calling the newest version of the uniform. The army changes their uniform a lot. So I mixed up some scents that I had because I had a whole bunch of sample sets sample scents in like more woodsy and natural scents so I figured I would use up some of those for this soap and I love how the smell came out. I love how the design came out. So let's get started. Alright guys so today I'm going to be doing a I'm going to call it Lost in the Woods because I had a whole bunch of these. I ordered a bunch of different like woodsy fragrance samples from I believe Wholesale Supplies Plus is where I got them. No, Bulk Apothecary. I got them from Bulk Apothecary. Maybe. I don't remember. I'll link it down in the description. But I got Redwood, Amberwood Moss, and which one is this? A Mountain Rain. And then I also had a bunch. I have some Cedarwood oil left from a previous soap. So I added some of that in as well. And it smells really, really good. And that's my fragrance oil right there. So we're going to try doing something a little bit different. I love experimenting with soap. If you've been around for a while, you'll know I love experimenting with soap. So first things first, I am going to add in my goat milk powder. And I'm also going to add in I can get to it without dropping it. My Kaolin clay. And I actually made my lye water solution yesterday. So I let my lye water sit overnight so I know it is pretty much yeah, at room temperature about 68 degrees and I want my soap to be really cold today because of what I'm trying to do with it. So hopefully everything will work out. So let me mix in my powders Ooh. and we'll get to soaping. Alright, I'm going to add in the lye solution. And I'm just going to bring this to a very very light trace. Alright. I am happy with that. Move this out of the way. And I'm going to actually separate these off into two containers. I'm just going to find my container. I'm going to separate them into these two containers and I'm going to be using some sample colors again because I'm always trying to get them used up. doesn't have to be exact and even. So I've got one of those and those. So I still have some green left over from a previous sample set that I got. So I'm going to add that into there. I want that really dark. It's going to be my darkest green. So add that in there. And then I'm going to be using sliced green kiwi mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And then some hydrated chrome green oxide. Let's add that over. And mix these up. I'm just going to 
scrape the edges, just make sure there's no leftover little bits of mica. Especially in this big bowl. All right, so now I'm just going to add in my fragrance oil. I'm actually going to mix this in by hand because when you mix your fragrance oils, you never know how it's going to react. Oh, it smells lovely though. I was doing a test batch with a blackberry fragrance oil the other day and I literally poured the blackberry fragrance in, turned my stick blender on for like a second, pulled my stick blender up and it pulled the entire soap up with it. It had seized the entire batch within a matter of seconds. Oh, I was so mad because I really liked the fragrance. Oh, what are you gonna do? You know? So, those are our colors. Let me grab my mold. going to actually transfer this big green one into this container. That way it's just easier to pour. And I'm a rebel. Wasting time. That's how I roll. All right. And then make a big old mess. Like always. Nothing new there. So I'm going to actually cover the bottom in this green. Give that a little shimmy. And I'm going to just start randomly. My lack of planning is pretty much apparent when it comes to soap making. I never remember to grab everything I need. So, just going to swirl the top. I'm not going down into the actual soap. Alrighty. I'm going to spritz this down with some rubbing alcohol and I'll be back in 24 to 48 hours to cut. Alright guys, so it has been just over 24 hours and here is the soap. So let's get cutting. If you guys have been around for a while, you know this is like my favorite part of making soap is the cutting process because it's like Christmas, especially when you try something new or you're just playing around, experimenting, you never know exactly what you're going to get. So let's give this a cut. Alrighty. That is pretty neat. If you like a woodsy scented soap, it smells really good. The cedar really pulls through on it, which I really like. I love the smell of cedar. I wish I had a cedar chest, but I don't. Oh, so pretty. Mm, 
So I have a question for you guys. If you do make soap, what kind of soaper are you? Are you kind of a fly by the seat of your pants when it comes to designing or are you more plan it out every step of the way to get the exact design that you are looking for? I tend to kind of fly by the seat of my pants. I find it more fun that way. I have a little air bubble there, but it's no big deal. But I love experimenting and just playing with different techniques and different colors and mixing up my own fragrances and things like that. So I'm very excited how these turned out. So let me know down in the comments what kind of soaper you are. So that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out new videos every single week. And I've had some ideas kind of floating in my brain the last couple weeks. And I wanted to do a series of soaps. I see a lot of people doing like gemstones and things like that. I want to do something a little bit more my style. And so I'm going to be doing some fairy tale inspired soaps coming up. The next video will actually be my Big Bad Wolf Soap, which is from, of course, Little Red Riding Hood. And I'm going to be doing some Snow White, some Cinderella, maybe some Hansel and Gretel. I know for sure Alice in Wonderland, all those types of themed soaps. So if you like that type of soap themed videos, let me know down in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.